Hi again, Mike with the Clean Vibrator Company. We saw the results out there. Now we're going to take a look at our selection guide to talk a little further about what key points are we looking at when determining which type of vibration to use? What do we look at to determine how many vibrators to put on a bin or hopper or chute or pipe? Uh, how to install these things? Just some basic tips, general info covers most of the applications. Our selection guide. This is our method to the madness. We're going to talk about the three simple steps. How many vibrators do we need? Where do we need to install them? What strength of vibrator is needed? What is the best type of vibration? What's the best type of vibration? Does it need to be high frequency, low frequency, impact type, non-impact type, number of things to take a look at, and that's really based off of the material. So in this situation where we had 9,600 pounds of cornmeal in there, we determined that we're putting two vibrators on there and we need 480 pounds of force from each vibrator. So as you can see, we've got a red line going across with the options that can achieve that force. We have all the options. Now we need to determine what's the best type of vibrator to do it. High frequency, low frequency. You know, is, can it be lubricated? Uh, does it need to be stainless steel? Are there other environmental factors we need to be concerned of? Explosion proof situations? You name it. Figure all that out. We've got a number of tools and tips inside the selection guide to tell you what force matters, what frequency matters. Then once we figure that all out, we also have information in here on how to install it. 